Well, we serve a risen Savior. Jesus is alive and he's alive forevermore. Thanks for joining me again today. We're in Luke 20 and verse number 9. And Jesus began to tell the people his parable. He says, a man planted a vineyard and let it out tenants and went into another country for a long while. That's like um, God renting out, giving the nation of Israel, you know, um, the vineyard and um, he's off. <clears throat> Verse then, when the time came, he sent a servant, which would represent the prophets. He sent a servant to the tenants so they would give him some of the fruit of the vineyard. But what did they do? He said the tenants beat him just like they beat the prophets. He said they beat him and sent him away empty handed. He had nothing to take back to the owner. Verse 11, he sent another servant, another prophet. They also beat and treated him shamefully, shamefully and sent him away empty handed. Again, he too is being sent back empty handed. And then he sent a third. This one also they wounded and cast out. They wounded and cast out. <clears throat> and the owner of the vineyard said, what shall I do? What am I going to do now? I'm sending all my servants to the, to the, to the, to the people renting um, this vineyard, um, the tenants, and, 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 and they're just beating up on my servants and, and sending them back to me without anything. The owner, verse 13, um, he, he sent a third. They, they wound and cast him on. The owner of the vineyard said, what shall I do? I will send my beloved son. My beloved son. Of course, a reference to Jesus, whom God said, This is my beloved son, in whom I well pleased. Hear ye him. I will send my beloved son. Perhaps they will respect him. They're going to respect him. Did they? But when the tenants saw him, they said to themselves, They said, Oh, this is the ear. Let us kill him. Let us kill him. Let us seize his vineyard. Take it as ours. Let us kill him so that the inheritance may be ours. It will belong to us. And the Bible says they threw him out of the vineyard and they killed him. They threw him out of the vineyard and they killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? What will he do? He will come and destroy those tenants and give the vineyard to others. So it's just what God did. He was sending his prophets to Israel. And they mistreated the prophets. Then he says, okay, I'm sending my son. But the Bible says, you know, we know what eventually happened to Jesus. They, they crucified the Savior. And God, Jesus is saying, God is going to come and he's going to judge. He's going to judge um, the nation of Israel and, of course, the entire world. He's going to give the vineyard to others. The kingdom is going to come to everyone in the world now. Those who want to be a part of that kingdom. When they heard this, they said, surely not. Surely not. But he looked directly at them and said, What then is this that is written? And this is a beautiful verse from the Old Testament. He says, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. He's asking that question. He's asking, Do you understand what that verse means? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. They were rejecting Jesus. And God has made Jesus the cornerstone. That's the main pillar of the building. The main pillar. But they rejected the cornerstone. Then he goes on with another um, powerful statement. He said this. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces. Everyone who stumbles, who rejects, who does not believe in the Savior. He says, um, everyone who falls on that will be broken. They're going to be broken. They're going to be destroyed for rejecting the Savior. But, and it says, when it falls on anyone, it will crush him. When Jesus is ready and he's going to return to, to, to judge um, the sinners and those who rejected him, they are going to be crushed by him. Jesus is going to return. He will judge the entire world. It's for us to receive him, us to accept him, and us, us to live for him. Don't fall. Don't stumble over that stone see the stone as for what it is, the chief cornerstone, God's chosen savior for the world. And don't let the stone fall on you, I pray, for the future. Amen. God bless you.